Yeah, I mean, at least I got that going for me. Like, I can tell when it when I'm <laughs> when it's off enough. or yeah. when you did the wrong thing. Let's do a couple warm ups first, though. Yeah. So what do you what have you been banging out for warm ups? Um, you know, sit down and just do a little hand stuff. What, I, what I yeah, a little hand stuff. You know, I don't mind me. I'm just sitting here. Um, by myself. <laughs> I always do eight on a hand. Okay. I've been trying to do some more of the like going um, crescendos. Uh, like it should be eight. Okay. So the eight primary dynamic markings. So there's eight of them, eight on a hand. It works perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As you do these things more, the hands just start to. Okay, cool. The ears put it together with the hands. You start okay. to hear what it is that needs to happen, and then things just happen. No, it's, it's that easy. It's easy, right? <laughs> so, and I play it standard sticking. It's going to be right, left, right, right, left, right, yeah. uh, right, left, right, uh, okay? If I play it alternate sticking, it's going to go right, left, right, left, right, left, okay. right, left, right, left, right, left, okay? Which one's correct? They're both correct. Okay. Done. But when I looked over, I'm like, he's not lifting as high. So, yeah, I remember I why. <laughs> And yeah, I have a specific way I ask for these things to be done, but it doesn't always have to be strict to that. I don't like it. I don't like it. Why are there so many accents? As the weeks go on, I add more booms oh, here. Oh, why you want to do that, Dan? <laughs> we don't need this many booms. All right. I mean, listen, we can do all sorts of stuff with that. You take out those diddles. You say, okay, make all those accents flams. Why, Bo? Why would I do that, Dan? Why would I do that? Because <laughs> it's fun. It is fun, actually. It's really fun. Okay. Flam everything, Joe. This Feels like I'm like, like vibrating on this. Oh. I'm okay, Dan. But Part of the sure. reason is you're too close. That's better. I'm sticking my foot. <laughs> you want me to move the camera so you can show? It's fine. Me? No, it's fine. Okay. Your knee should be behind your toes for sure, but and also even slightly behind your ankle, which it is at this point. Oh. That's where you want to be, I think. I mean, listen, some guys sit real close where their knee is way up over here. And then I've seen some guys sit even further back. Just sit normal, and if you look down, do you see your toes or no? No. Okay, so maybe back up a hair more. You see your toes at this point? Yeah. Now, this far back, but whatever. You know, when you're sitting and playing, you need to experiment a little with your position of your seat. Okay, just play real quick and yeah. see if that makes it feel any different. Yeah, 
yourself in yeah, just a tad. I, like I know. Yeah, it's okay. Well, now try it again. Is that when, when you are picking your heel up to make the first note, yeah. you're pushing a little bit with your toe, which is making your mallet yeah. slightly strike the head. Yeah. You hear that? I, yeah, I that's what I'm it. hearing. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling it too. So that's just, you, you got to relax before you make the note somehow. Like, okay. I don't know, you just have to stop feeling that. Uh, okay. So okay. it's, right, so watch, make it, just do me one bass drum note. Do it again. That's great. Now do two bass drums. Okay, good, do it again. So it's sort of gone now. The tap, I feel like it's me stabilizing myself when I lift. Sure. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like my, I'm trying to keep myself from wobbling. Sure, yeah. At this moment, that feels fine. And then maybe when I'm doing this, there's like something else that's like... There's a balance. There's a balance. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, you know, it's it, growing pains is the best way to explain it. Okay. I mean, it's just, it's part of the process. Do it again, the top example. You don't need to read that, right? I don't think so. You shouldn't. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, mirrors. This is excellent. Can you see your bass drum or not? Can you see the mallet? A little this way. Yes. Okay. What do you think looking at it like this? Have you done that before? I've, I've done it in my room a little bit. I've scooched my, I have a mirror on the wall and I've scooched Thing this is a fantastic exercise, taking a mirror, watching your bass drum action from the side. Because you're here, Dan. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Well, maybe. I mean, uh, I may have a little bit to do with it. I mean, in, there's a funny thing, yeah. just giving a little more confidence in the fact that it does sound good. <laughs> you know, it, it does. It definitely, uh, you're in the right place with that. So, yeah. you know, take your time, work it diligently, but be patient in your work. Yeah, try the second one. Okay. This one's a little different. Yeah, it's very different. Sound great, Joe. Okay. It's very good. When you when you're at home practicing, it's not always going to be good. That's true. It's, it's, it's really mostly not good. <laughs> well, I, I mean, mean mostly. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean whatever. I I, don't, I wouldn't think that. But the thing is, is that if you didn't go and do what you did at home and feel like good about it and struggle with it and it didn't quite work, if you didn't ever do that, it would be happening right now. True. But because you did it then, and now you're sitting here with me now, you're successful. That step was necessary. Cool. Right? So this was a struggle too. Of course. Are you going to break it apart or do you want to just try to do it? I'm going to break it apart, Dan. Okay, fine. <laughs> I think so. So we do the feet first. Yeah. Fair. But it's like... Your upper right? body should be still. So maybe it's just a matter of me strengthening that. It's a balance thing. Balance. 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 It's a balance thing. Okay, one, two, let's slow down a little bit. One, two, three, and that's going to go one, two, three. And you can let the heel relax a little bit now when you're doing it, right? That was only an exercise just at first, just to get everything settled here, right? Now, you should still feel pretty good, right? You look okay. 
You don't look like you're doing too much movement on top. You're fine. Don't do the open close, just play the kick snare hat. because you know, play through it. Yeah. yeah. Do it. So that was another really good lesson and I was a little nervous because we haven't had a lesson in about a month and I have been practicing but there were a lot of things that happened during my practice that were making me nervous. I was struggling to get my hands to cooperate and I was feeling like out of balance and just I had some struggles. But it was actually really great because I brought them all up with Dan. I was like, hey, so I struggled with this and I struggled with this. And he gave me, you know, tips and ideas and just, you know, helped me work through it. And he encouraged me without, you know, sugarcoating it um, to just keep moving, keep pressing forward. This is what happens to all of us. Excuse me, I'm gonna fan myself. It's friggin' hot in this car. Ah, air conditioning. That's what we do in the valley. Get a little AC. Wow. It's like 90 degrees out and I'm probably the only Southern Californian who's been wearing a hoodie most of the day. This is the first time I've taken it off all day. It's 4 p.m. So I really enjoyed the lesson, but... Hey, that's my friend. Fortunately, I have a lot of video to go back and look at, but that's not always enough. Also fortunate is that Dan does not have a problem answering questions. And I had so many questions for him today. Um, this last Saturday, the school had a showcase. So they have the program for students to perform live, either with a band or solo, and then they have a backing band that um, it's like the teachers and sometimes they hire people. And then the student plays like their one instrument. Or they have a band program where you put together your own band with other students. It's really fun. So that was this weekend and I got to witness some of Dan's students just kicking butt. And there was a woman who's performing and she's older than I am and she only started taking drums, you know, fairly recent as well. She kicked butt. She was so good and it was so encouraging to me because I'm, I'm not that old. I'm in my 30s and that's not too old to start something but you never really know because everyone says, I oh, you should have started when you were four. And not everyone gets the opportunity to start something when they're four. So. It was really cool to see how well she was doing. So encouraging, so inspiring, really fun. I'm gonna head home now and I'm looking forward to the next lesson. I feel so much better than I did before the lesson. I'm so glad that I got through all of my questions and all the problems I was experiencing. I'm ready to go home and like just take Dan's 
tips and tricks and get better and better and better. Thank you all so much again for watching. So glad you're following me on this journey. It's still a good time, I think. There's always something fresh going on. If you like music and everything music, uh, musicians, instruments, vlogs about music, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on all the social media, and leave a comment below. Tell me, you know, what are you up to? Recently, somebody left a comment saying that they started up with a new instrument, and I just love hearing about it. So just tell me all about it in the comments below. If you have a song suggestion for me to try to learn, go ahead and put it in the comments below. But remember, I am still a beginner and we are not playing Dream Theater. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye! Just, just flam, flam everything! Just flam! Flam! Flam, flam, flam the world! Flam, flam. Just flam the world, yeah. <laughs> That's great.